The, the early works on boards that we have got displayed here from the Wilkerson collection is a, is a great historical moment in the display of Aboriginal art here in the United States of the Papunya Tunya people and the people of the sort of central desert type area. This is uh, historical origins. The universe is made up not of atoms, but of stories. And that is what the Aboriginal art experience is all about. Thank you for coming tonight for this very special event. And I'd like to thank the embassy um, for hosting it, especially Ambassador Kim Beasley. So there are two sections of Australia's Protection of Move Movable Cultural Heritage Act from 1986 that apply to the material culture of indigenous Australians. Class A objects are those that cannot be exported from Australia. Class B objects are objects that can be exported if granted a permit. The major source of income in most remote communities is art because there was a buzz out there in, a, in an art market and works were going to museums but people they were going overseas and there were overseas exhibitions and people would try to buy the next big thing and the next new thing and it's like a like what happens in, contempor in contemporary art of course only two or three percent become the great artists but there's there's a huge community out there but trying to buy the next the, the next great artist and and that provides a really vibrant art collecting atmosphere and production and so on. And in the last <clears throat> several years, I found myself, because of this association with the early painters and, and having a lot of experience with them, um, of uh, con con uh, consultation about what's to be done and what their ideas are about works that were collected many years ago that are in, 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 in uh, government uh, collections. Within Western culture, knowledge is power. With indigenous cultures, knowledge is responsibility, and that's a big difference. But thank you so much for participating, and thank all of our panelists. <laughs> these, uh, these works here uh, are in the American mind. Well, that's Aboriginal art. That's where it began. Isn't it fascinating that we have a chance to have a look at that? We love to have talks, we love to have people come in and want to hear about the layers of the stories, uh, the ancestral connection. To be able to discuss the affinities and the differences between Native American art and Aboriginal art, the complexities of the issue with respect to the Cultural Heritage Act. I had no idea how the uh, uh, professor from New Mexico was thinking and she really did bring an unusual uh, for me and a useful perspective. It was wonderful. No, I thought it, was, it ended up being, it was fun and really interesting. I learned a lot myself. I always enjoy that.